update. So what we have here is all of our MDF is covered, wrapped. Um, I've drilled mounting holes, um, countersunk them, and then the backside of the mounting holes, there is nut certs into the body. Um, the plastic here is PVC, quarter inch, and there is one inch rubber standoffs. So basically what's going on here is everything's getting mounted. I've got a hole here in the center for wires to go down above the rear end um, with a grommet in it. So basically they chase down. The battery obviously is going there. The fuse block is likely gonna go somewhere here. This side at the moment, I'm planning on a couple of um, fuses and distribution blocks. And then in the middle, basically tie the wires up and then they'll go and split some down the middle and some around the side. This side over here, we'll get the amp and then the wires will get zip tied into the panel. And then this top one here are, this is two of the four um, component pieces. So the wires will go up there and then again, tied to the actual panel. So they'll be nice and clean. Um, yeah, progress so far. Um, once this is all set, then I should be able to um, get the car up in the air again. And then I'm gonna put the, start with the wiring on the front. Um, I also need to get a couple of fasteners. That's where the ECU for the engine is going. Um, and I've got a bulkhead, so I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna route it. I thought I was gonna route it by the transmission, but transmission's round and the bulkhead I have is a three inch hole that's flat. So I'll probably end up going through the firewall, potentially, I'm not exactly sure yet. I'll have to figure that out. So it also depends on how long my lines are. Um, and then I'll have to wire, there's a channels here on both sides by the door um, for wiring. And then some of the component speakers I'll probably run down the center and then channel out some of the um, sound deadening so everything's smooth and the wires don't get crushed. So, getting there. Give you an idea of what I'm doing. Got my amp mounted. Lines ran up to the power distribution box with fuses. Fuse box is not yet mounted. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna go like that or like this, as well as my um, fuel control. Still working on the wiring and get all the wires for the amp. Show you what's going on over here. Battery sitting in there. More speaker components. So this is the idea to keep it nice and clean. I'll likely route all, route all the wires and then tie them up in looms so it's nice and clean. Update on the wiring. I've got the engine harness in. It was pretty straightforward, just plug and play mostly. Some of the leads I didn't end up using, um, mostly because of the drive-by wire here. Uh, so they just got cut, capped off, and basically routed back in the loom. Um, one of the challenges was to obviously go through the firewall and where I was gonna go through the firewall. So one of the tricks I learned a long time ago was get a piece of string and run it basically the length of your wire loom from once you got everything clipped, which is effectively in this area here, and then transfer that length to the inside and figure out exactly where it is that, um, how far you can get with the route that you wanna take. And I was just dumb luck, was able to route it and get it underneath the seat. Um, and it reaches where I wanted to put the, the ECU for the Terminator. So that's gonna be perfect. Um, this multi-piece grommet underneath here was a pain in the neck to do with one person, but not having the windshield in uh, made it um, a lot easier to lean over and get to both sides. 
transmission, same concept, um, same process for the wiring on the in the computer for the transmission. I'm not using the Holly, uh, the Holly uh, Terminator for that. Um, I've got a dedicated um, ECU. I don't remember the name of it, but um, needed the shifter needed to go in, the shifter cable. Um, took a little bit of messing around to get that adjusted right. But um, now I know where all that's going to route. Um, I'm going to put some clips underneath because of the transmission tunnel in the console the all the wiring in the console is going to get really cluttered really quickly so i want to keep that tidy i'll likely have to run another fuse block up um, to do a switched relay uh, to turn on um, some of the additional accessories that i'll need but that's tbd back haven't done anything since last time i got the speaker components in Happy with where that is, waiting on some more speaker wire. And then I think next I'm going to either start on the Vaporworks wiring, um, basically starting on big components, working down to small components, and then the fuse block itself, um, and then run that for the rest of the car. Um, get all the wires kind of where they need to go, and then once I'm happy with it, then put connectors on and do the final wiring and clean up on it. So this was a big hurdle getting the engine computer management wiring done. I'm um, happy with where it's going and how it's coming along so far. So show some mounting brackets I'm making here for a few of the components that go under the dash. I don't want to drill through the firewall so what I'm doing is taking this ABS plastic, building some standoffs, nut certs in them, and then the standoffs are just going to get epoxy to the firewall. And then that allows me to mount directly to the ABS plastic. Should be nice and clean underneath the dash. Power wires ran. This all sits behind the splash shield. Comes out there with a grommet, goes underneath these plate covers, lays in the channel, all the way back to the battery. See my plates I have epoxied in. I'll just unscrew. And then the other one is up here. And I should be able to put all the wires in and then screw the components directly onto the board. Nice and clean out of the way. Ignition coil runs down to the starter next to the header. So I've got this sleeved and then wrapped in aluminum heat tape. Basically any wires that go near the headers are going to get wrapped so it keeps the heat away from them so they don't melt over time. Got the taillights wired in permanently on connectors, lines tied up nice and clean. It's all gonna be behind the interior panels. A lot of uh, front back lines are ran, some connected, some are just loose for final connections. Working on the license plate um, light. So the license plate illumination with the smooth bumpers, and that's where the lights used to sign up on the license plate. So my license plate frame needs lights on it. little peek inside here. We've got a lot of loose wirings. They're all gonna get loomed and tied up, but right now everything is just loose, kind of where it needs to go. I've got the headlight switch and the ignition switch wired. I've got the neutral safety switch and the relays sorted and figured out. And some of the loose front wires figured out. I've got the fan, and the relays, and that sorted. They're no, not in, but I figured out how I'm going to run it. Other items helps to read the instructions first, but this little uh, control module actually needs to face up and forward, so I had to make a little bracket for it to work. It's for the temperature and um, northwest, east, south, all that fun stuff. 
front and rear cameras need to go in and figure out mounting. I've got a little control module. I'm going to try for a um, dimmer on the dome light, dome lights LED. Um, I've got some lights here for the, uh, the, kick, uh, the foot wells and then my license plate with a wiring connection for that. So I guess that I'm probably about halfway through the wiring at this point. Uh, still a lot to do, final connections and cleanup, but most of the uh, big lines and major runs are completed. The front and rear backup camera mounts installed. Made a little bracket, I've got the epoxy drying, it's just epoxy to the bumper there. And you did the same thing on the back. You can see it hanging down there underneath the bumper. Same concept on the bracket back there. And then I also got the license plate bracket on, wired up. All right, that's it for the moment. Going to uh, finish up wiring and take some more videos as I go, but that's it for this one.